Welcome back to Key Talk Media. This is your host, Key Talk. Check it out, man. All right. Key Talk side, I want to say thank you for watching every video. Make sure you like, comment, and subscribe. Anyway, so it looks like Honeycomb Brazy has actually came out and said something. It's got a lot of people kind of just scratching their head, but at the same time, kind of having some type of understanding of exactly what happened. So Honeycomb Brazy has actually came out, and what Honeycomb Brazy said was he may never in life return to Texas. That's right. He said he may never come back to Texas. Of course, that's kind of wild because he's signed to a label that's based in Texas, Houston, Texas to be exact. And of course, everybody knows that label is mob ties well rap a lot records because while inside of jail he said he ain't associated with mob ties only rap a lot so that shows that he had some sort of issue with the whole mob ties situation of course he did speak on finesse two times while he was actually locked up pretty much saying uh that you know he wasn't as loyal to him so he didn't like it for that fact but then of course it does seem like there's more to the situation because Honeycomb Brazy on somebody Hitman Headshot Brazy, the unlike character that we call him, he pretty much came out and you know he wrote a paragraph on Instagram. Man, you know. I'm definitely gonna read the paragraph for y'all. Now from this paragraph, you can see that it's probably some extra things, you know, talking about why he never wanna come back. Because he did say he feels like that, you know, talking about that whole group of people over there in Texas H time played him to the left, was kicking him while he was down. Honeycomb Brazy said. I'm probably never going back to Texas. I don't think it's for me. I just got some people I love down there, but I'm never coming back that way for real. Angles really played me to the left while I was in that cell. It's like them boys was kicking me while I was down type in. And I can't respect it. I mean, like, I can never respect it. Now you know. So... We all understand that the foundation, that the whole rap a lot records, especially like the, the boss, the young about the godfather boss, of course, goes by the name of Jazz Prince. Uh, well, Jay Prince, now his son is Jazz Prince. But, of course, you've seen him squash, you know, beef that was actually happening, get chains back. I think he was involved with getting uh, able to recover a key that was stolen out of NBA young boy's car and all this stuff like that, right? So, he's typically the voice of reason. Now, Speaking of the voice of reason, he does have got something called a courtesy call. Now, whenever Jay Prince get on a mic and he give him a cur give anybody a courtesy call, it's just out of respect, right? But Honeycomb Brazy is saying he can't respect nothing over there simply because he feel like they played him to the left while he was locked up. We'll just have to see how it goes. Also, like the video I made previously, you can check it out. Another thing that Honeycomb Brazy didn't like, he said that he stayed solid all these years inside of jail, but whenever he came home, he didn't have a private jet, but whenever Finesse two times came home, he had the private jet. Hold up, hold up, hold up. Finesse too fine, as he calls himself now, anyway. Now you know. Yes, he may be mad at the label and stuff right now, but at the same time, if he's under contract, which I'm pretty sure he probably is under contract, it ain't too many options that Finesse, well, uh, Honeycomb Brazy, Hitman, Headshot Brazy will actually have. Uh, because if he's under contract, it doesn't matter because it's going to involve the paperwork, you know, the paper, you know what I'm talking about? So if you're making money off this, they probably going to make money off this, you know what I'm talking about? Because you're signed to the actual label. So. Although artists at times have issues with their labels, at the end of the day, the reason why you see a whole lot of artists just quit making music and dropping music is because a lot of these guys want to get off the label. They're not able to get off the label, so they say, hmm, what's the way that I can revolt to the label? Hmm, let me just not drop music, but if they're not dropping music, they not getting paid, you know what I'm talking about, because there's stuff that they can, other avenues in which they can get paid for their music, but a lot of the time, most of the artists ain't seeing no streaming checks or nothing like that because of the type of deals that they do sign. Now, I don't think this pertains to anything about Finesse Two Times' deal. However, it will affect the deal if Buddy just completely decides to just quit talking to him completely. Now, he said he's not going to Houston, Texas anymore or Texas anymore, period, but he ain't just said he ain't just going to not talk to him no more because you kind of got to because that's your label, you know what I'm talking about, or you'll just be sitting on, you know, somebody signed to them and and if you drop something they don't want you to drop they can get it removed and all this other stuff but we'll just see how it goes uh maybe they'll be able to get it resolved you know what I'm talking about he said it's just a respect thing anyway so also in other news it looks like everybody knows that bg's been out of jail you know what I'm talking about the cash money the one of the original hot boys you know what I'm talking about came out of jail he remixed a uh the sexy red song Shake your dress, shake your dress, shake your dress. Well, it looks like his baby mama has now came out and is actually going viral. And she said 
she needs somebody to help her get his face removed off her body. Now, do we know why she wanted to get the face removed off her body? No, nobody knows it yet, but she did say she was going to come back and explain why exactly she needs help from anybody. And when I say help, She's starting to go fund me. And she says she don't want to hear nobody saying you shouldn't have done that. You shouldn't have did this. She's getting to go fund me. But I'm going to go ahead and let y'all see the video of that. So I'm about to start a go fund me, y'all. I need help getting this tattoo removed ASAP. And I don't want to hear no shit about you shouldn't have did it. You bitch. Because I already knew. I can't press stop. Rewind, edit, and cut. All I can do is move forward. So moving on, I need you people help. I'm feeling like Labusi. I need the people help. So y'all, I'm about to start this little for me. Like I said, I don't want to hear nothing about no. You shouldn't have got it. Either y'all going to help, support, or just shut the fuck up. Okay? So when I put my GoFundMe up there, I don't care if y'all make fun either. Let me say, y'all look at it. Be sending to y'all friends. Because I wish y'all friends support and help me. Because, baby, I'm going to tell my story. But my story going to be for my YouTube channel, y'all. Anyway, so from that video that you just watched, you can definitely see that she want to get that thing removed. Uh, this probably going to go into more interviews with her, and he'll probably do some interviews about it as well. So I'm sure we'll figure it out. But just for starters, so y'all can see where it actually began at, here you go. Anyways, let me know something. Comment down below. Let me know what you think about this entire deal. I'm out.